Well, I'll just say this. What really stood out about the 49ers in this game, you know, I'll say this. The offensive line did a pretty nice job. I'll admit that part. The fact that we drafted Dominic Puny in the third round, that's a draft steal. This guy looks like a bona fide stud. Looks like an all-pro guard for the next decade, man. Well done. You get this kid in the third round. I'll take it. I like that our running game was so effective without CMC. Just imagine. Just imagine when CMC returns. How are the 49ers going to balance the running game? That's a great problem to have in San Francisco. Jordan Mason had a monster game, bro. Everybody was kind of curious, like, who the hell is Jordan Mason? This guy was the was the incarnation of Marshawn Lynch. Jeez, bro. That's what everybody was curious because he was kind of like impersonating Marshawn Lynch. Then, you look at the performance of who stood out? Jawan Jennings. Jawan Jennings went the right way in the offseason. He wanted a multi-year contract, and he went he went the right way about his business. And then he came back to work and put in the extra work, and it's paying dividends so far. I want to say this about uh, Brendan Ayuk. You got your money. We paid you $30 million, basically, to catch the ball four times per game and block, you know? I hope you prove otherwise that you are worth that money. Honestly, you, I don't think you're not, but I hope you prove yourself otherwise. He still has some work to do. You need to get some more practice with uh, Brock Purdy. Get that chemistry clicking again. And I think it will. It will get there in time. When you look at the overall production of how we did on this running game, it's just going to be a great problem to have. Pick your poison. Once CMC returns, it's pretty much it's pretty much like it should be illegal of what we're doing. But the fact that we know how to develop the running backs, it's just a luxury. The fact that we get McCaffrey coming back, it's just a luxury in this offense. Ricky Pierso, the guy's a luxury. He's gonna come back in a, in four weeks, so that's gonna be a great problem to have. Then you look on defense. That defensive line really did pretty well. They limit the running game with over 60 yards rushing. Well done. The addition of Malik Collins is paying huge dividends. It's like the trade for him was a steal from the Texans. It was like we went to Dollar General to get ourselves a stud, bro. It's like you went to Dollar General for a cheap-ass deal. I take that any day of the week. Then you get Leonard Floyd, who stood out and got a sack on Aaron Rodgers. He actually got Aaron Rodgers' sack consecutive. He's the first player in whatever your mind in NFL history to have a consecutive sack against Aaron Rodgers. It's crazy. It's a mind-blowing stat that this guy has a consecutive sack on Monday Night Football. Last year, he ended his season, but this game, he got a sack and got it to be three and out in that situation. So well done by Leonard Floyd. Defensively, you look at our secondary. It looks promising. Once Hufunga returns, oh my God, you guys are in for a long day because Hufunga is going to lay the wood and set the tone. What you saw with Diama de Lenore, he sets the tone, he makes the plays, he backs up his shit. I like that about Lenore. He's a dog, bro. Uh, Traverius Ward has proven otherwise. This guy's on a contract year. This guy's balling out right now. Nobody's going to try to throw his direction as often. Isaac Yadikum needs to get better, but otherwise, he isn't that bad. I expect better, but he'll get better in no time. Our linebacking core, even without Dre Greenlaw and D. Winters, we, we look okay. They did pretty solid. Devondre Campbell did pretty well. But most of all, Fred Warner balled out. 
Flanagan Fowles did pretty solid. He did okay. But other than that, just imagine Dre Greenlaw and Hufunga returning and D. Winters. This defense is just only going to get better. This was just like a B type of performance. Once we come back fully healthy, it's gonna be it's gonna be no chance in hell. Hey, we're just gonna be we're just getting started. A win over the Jets, we're just getting started. Jake Moody, he silenced the doubters, man. Jake Moody silenced those doubters. Six for six for field goals. So the special teams was okay. Overall, there was a couple flaws on Shanahan that I feel like he needs to fix, man. He keeps making the same thing. Sometimes you might need to go for it on fourth down sometimes, but that's just my opinion. But other than that, he had a great execution for today. So I got to say, we're on to the Vikings, but overall, it was a good performance. I can't complain. I'm excited. So it, it's a great feeling that we actually did pretty well. Nick Sorensen on the third down defense, I like that he made the improvement so far. Because in the previous years, we've had issues on third down, and it's fixed. He made adjustments, and that's what matters. He, he kind of seems to be a, ahead of the game. So I was wrong about the, about the idea of Nick Sorensen being on our DC, which I think he's paying dividends right now because he is very much familiar with how we run our defense, and he's been around the team, so it makes sense. <laughs> and players really want to play for this guy. So, yeah, I'm good with that. So I must say, it was a pretty solid performance, and we did a good job. So we're on to the Vikings. So let me know what you guys think, and tell me who stood out to you and who needs to get better. So we'll get to that.